Alright, I'm just cutting up the clay. I uh, use a uh, pasta cutter, which really works out nicely for this because you can push down on it with a cut in your hand and uh, goes right through the clay. Alright, it's uh, another day and I've got my clay all cut up and ready to go. Stacked up in there and my light on it to warm it up. And uh, we'll see what we can do. It's cold in here today. It's uh, 52 outside. It was about in the 20s this morning, but uh, it's warmed up a bit. But it's not warmed up in my bedroom at all. You know, I think I'm going to work on his face today. Um, I'm going to let this clay warm up just a little bit more. And I want to get this face worked out here a little bit better. I need to cut this face and lengthen it. Because unlike Europeans, the facial features of Native Americans tends to be a little bit different structure in proportions. And uh, I've got the proportions off on this. So, only way to do this is to uh, make the change. This is painful, but <laughs> it'll work out. The distance between the chin and the eye is not the halfway point in the head. Uh, there's a good deal of space below the eye and a lot less space above the eye. Feet, uh, uh, chiefs or warriors uh, from uh, the 1800s. Um, these are two pictures of uh, Blackfeet Indians from the 1800s. Um, this is uh, his actual top of his head should be up here if you go by halfway for the eye, which is well above his head. So I'm going to actually lengthen the bottom part of his face. Not a lot, just, just a, a little bit more than what it was. I'm adding about a quarter of an inch. Maybe, uh, let's see, how much am I adding? Adding about uh, three eighths of an inch to his face. Okay. Now, this may not work, but uh, I gotta try it and see. And if it doesn't, then I'll just cut it and put it back. But uh, you gotta be willing to uh, at least make adjustments. Mm -hmm.
three pieces of clay that I've rolled out and I just braid it like hair. All right, that shows you what I'm thinking of right there. I got the uh, braid on and uh, I'll do the same thing on this side tomorrow. I want to get beadwork going here. And what I've got for that are a set of combs. And uh, I'll show you how I make beadwork uh, using uh, just common, ordinary combs you get at the local drugstore. Tomorrow.